in a sick way for us. It's kind of paradise. We love all these pictures that we get out of these things. This thing moving into the valley, look at the water tower. This is down near uh, Casa Grande, and it just rolled right through, steering everything. And even on the ground, sometimes the helicopter makes it look worse. But even on the ground at night, it was wicked out there. We see it. We put together uh, just another angle, another way to look at it, and it's time lapse of the dust storm as it moved in from the southeast valley. Now, on Facebook, everyone was chiming in, just got the camera, just got the Casa Grande as it came through. And it was moving pretty fast. I don't know how fast dust storms go, but 50 miles per hour, sounds pretty fast. Yeah, I'll tell you, and uh, it kind of just looks like a wave rolling in on the Pacific, doesn't it? A, it big, does. a big wave. Yes, yeah, it looks like a tsunami. Now, the closer look at the storm, as it rolled in. And that was impressive watching that one. I mean, we've covered so many of these. This one may be one of the biggest I've ever seen here. I think you guys would agree. And at one point, the wall of dust, you mentioned, 7,000 feet high, 50 miles wide, and going some 50 miles an hour. So that was shocking. It gives you a little bit of scale. So look at this. You can see the wall of dust. And right there, you see that? That's a helicopter flying in front. It looks like a, a fly, like a little speck in front of that huge wall. And Sky Fox got some more jaw-dropping pictures of this dust. Skyfox spotted the clouds south of the valley, and it is just massive, stretching from the Australia Mountains in the west to the superstitions all the way in the east. Wow. Oh, boy, was it moving. This closer shot yeah, that gives you some idea. Weeks, as they know, it was. As the wind was more dust. Queen Creek, Gilbert, Chandler, East Mesa, Ahwatukee. Entire neighborhoods seem to be swallowed up, the light dimmed by the dust and the debris in the air. And it's not long before it hit Central Phoenix. Watch as the control tower at Sky Harbor Airport just disappears. Visibility here, down to zero. The airport shut down. Nothing is flying in or going out. And when the cloud envelops the airport, the lights of the terminals and the runways almost make the scene look like the wildfires our city's been ravaged by in the last month or so. Then, U.S. Airways Center and Chase Field disappear, along with the skyscrapers to the north. Yes. Downtown Phoenix enveloped. And finally, the last minutes of daylight slip away. Two big rain fell just to the south of the setting sun. Really a perfect frame for this awe-inspiring masterpiece of Mother Nature. And it still moves so tells quickly. You how really large the it the was. It stretched from the Stone Mountains to the, the Superstition Mountains. Thanks, Troy. That was, uh, that was good stuff. Show and we were telling you how bad the driving and conditions were. And there was one a show off there, certainly. Yeah. Video from any guy as it rolled yeah. in, you can see. I mean, and, and fortunately, the cars were really kind of so easy out we're there. Talking. People out here have been for a while. They know what to do. You've got to slow down at the very least. And if it really gets bad, Pull off to the side of the road so she and turn your lights off. off the That's what you got to do because you don't want somebody to see their your lights and think that you're in the lane and rear end you. So, drivers should really it's slow and down. It can be very, very scary driving through this stuff. And this was on US 60 in Mesa. And because the storm was so large, the dust stuck around for a while. Even the freeway, as you see there, really dark and eerie. Oh, that is really something. But, it, you know, I guess until it's really around the car, people still won't pull off, right? They're right. like, you know what, I'm going to get home, and then I'm going to watch it on TV. Another look at the storm rolling over central Phoenix. That is just surreal. <laughs> and we're running out of that. <laughs> Here's the thing, you know, it impresses people who aren't from the valley, but when people from the valley are impressed and start calling and saying, oh my gosh, this right. is huge, I'll tell you then what, you know it's big. I'll tell you what else is impressed is Dave Muncy. He's seen uh, 35 plus years of this stuff. Hey, this was something else. This is about the biggest I've ever seen. I, I, I can't remember. I, I'm trying to go back in my memory. Uh, it's not that easy. I've come through about 10 minutes for a bit. But uh, uh, <laughs> getting back there, uh, I really can't think that I've seen anything that massive moving that fast, that high, and that wide. Uh, it is definitely the uh, dust storm of 2011, if not uh, a long time. Take a look at it. Still a lot going on out there. A lot of very active weather. Lots of, you see these little storm reports lining up to tell us what happened out there. Wind gusts at 59 miles now south-southeast of Tempe, about five miles. And then uh, we also had problems with wind gusts at 69 miles an hour, five miles east of Sun Lake, Arizona. So it's it is going westbound. Let me just tell you, you need to come out here and see what it looks like outside. Dusty? And also, about a mile west, south-southwest of Sacaton, Arizona, uh, wind damage, and the wind damage, two trees were blown.